back to my channel and it's me again mama Aryan. and today we are talking about sniff versus nursing homes and i feel like uh kailangan ko ng new update sa inyo kasi it's been one year it's gonna be our anniversary this coming april 18 dito sa us and working in a sniff okay so ang huling naaalala ko ang huling um, vlog ko in terms of skill nursing facility was a year ago nung dumating kami dito no and because dahil hindi naman because dahil <laughs> so dahil wala naman tayong sniff sa Philippines no kung ano lang yung laman ko yun lang din yung knowledge ko about sniff before okay now i have to give an update sa inyo kung ano ang sniff Okay, because I've been working in the sniff a year now. Meron for sure hong mga natutunan <laughs> sa aking one year of working as post acute and rehab nurse. Okay, so ang tanong, ang skilled nursing facility ba ay isang nursing homes? Kay pwede ba siyang tawagin na ang sniff ay isang nursing homes? Ang sagot ay no. Okay, ang skilled nursing facility ay hindi siya nursing homes. Okay, um, sa isang building, magkasama ba ang nursing homes at ang SNIF? Yes, could be. Okay, si nursing homes ay another term for long-term care. Si SNIF or skilled nursing facility, dito mostly ang post-acute care and rehab. Okay, in one building, they can be together, but hindi pwedeng tawagin ang SNIF as nursing homes. Why and ano ang difference nila? Okay, si post-acute and rehab or the skilled nursing facility in a CMS or the Center for Medicare, Medicaid, you know, program of the state and federal, Si SNIF ang pinaka bread and butter ng isang building, ng isang facility na merong long-term care and my SNIF. Okay? So, siya ang pinaka bread and butter ng building na yun kasi they get more um, payments or money out of it than the nursing homes. The SNIF caters or the SNIF uh, patients under SNIF requires therapies. Okay, they need, kaya nga, post-acute and rehab. Okay, yung mga pasyente na nandito ay nagre-require ng, kaya nga before, di ba, it doesn't mean na if you're on SNIF, kailangan matanda ka. No. So, patients na nasa hospital and requiring more extensive or still skilled nursing care for their recovery, dun sila sa SNIF. Okay? So, patients na let's say post fracture post surgery post fall or any kind of medical condition say stroke post stroke na kailangan pa ng extensive ng extended uh, skilled nursing care they go to sniff to recover okay once na um nalipat na sila sa sniff don't detignan, so they, they have to undergo like therapy until they, they recover. But there are patients na, if hindi sila nagpa-progress for the therapy para makauwi sila ng bahay, that's the time that they have to decide if they're gonna transition into long-term care or the nursing homes. Big sabihin, if say, may, um, my old patient na post-stroke and then say very old talaga tapos hindi na nila kaya talagang mag-progress na makauwi and to live um, independently again to their home at kailangan talaga nila ng assistance or somebody will take care of them and wala silang ma walang makakapag-alaga sa bahay they can transition into a long-term care so sa long-term care now this is the time that you can call it nursing homes Okay, sa long-term care ang nursing homes because they do not require um, rigid na therapy. They still do mga exercises, yun yung therapy lang, but they're not 
um, the federal or the government, government is not paying anymore for a specific therapies for you to get better. I mean, to get yung, yung progress and yun nga, makauwi pa ng bahay. Ibig sabihin, hindi, hindi na talaga siya uh, hindi, ka, hindi na kaya at all and it requires more um, assistance na in nursing homes. Ayan. So, in short, if si Sleep ba ay isang nursing home, no. Hindi siya pwedeng tawagin na na nursing homes kapag nagwo-work ka sa SNF kasi SNF requires yun nga skilled nursing kaya siya tinawag na SNF skilled nursing facility it requires skilled nurses skilled nursing services and care okay so patients under SNF which is a post acute and rehab these patients can either go home or transition to long term care Okay. And the long-term care, ay, ito na yung mga patients na, na, yun nga, it's either nobody can take care of them at home, can oversee them at home, or wala na silang caregiver. They can go to nursing homes or long-term care to get more care, you know, and yung condition nila may makakapag-subaybay ba, ganyan, yun. So, in SNF, dito nang dito merong par dito naman yung mga pasyenteng nagpapa-recover it's either to recover or yun nga kung ano yung magiging um, progress ng condition nila it's either if makakawi pa ba si makakawi sila um, independently um, so ang goal ng isang sniff is for them to progress and go home independently or go back to their family that they can do again the normal or how they used to be okay and then if hindi sila hindi nila kaya nang magprogress so in sniff we you, you have to cater or we can cater different kinds of condition it can be post stroke cardiac patients um brain surgery post brain surgery post fracture post surgery of any kinds of orthopedic um what else any kind of actually any kind of conditions na requires extensive or extended skilled nursing care na kailangang you know magpa-recover that skilled nursing facility okay and nursing homes is different because nursing home doesn't require um rigid nursing care big sabihin hindi na hindi na as as toro hindi na as crit Ba? hindi na as mara hindi na ganun kadami yung kailangang um, gawin sa patient you know just like ang kailangan na lang sa isang nursing homes ay either monitoring or yun nga somebody to take care, to take care of them if if they cannot go home um, independently na okay so again hindi pwedeng tawagin si skilled nursing facility na nursing homes and in a building the bread and butter of the building is the skilled nursing facility diyan sila nakakuha ng more payments than the nursing homes Okay, or the long-term care. So again, skilled nursing facility is just the post-acute and rehab, and you cannot call it as nursing home. So if my, um, so if your employer or if your agency will offer you jobs or employer, um, like, are you going to be on SNF or are you going to be a long-term care? So long-term care is the nursing homes. SNF is the post-acute rehab. Okay, so dito pwedeng um, magkaroon ng mga catheterization. Actually, kahit saan pwedeng mag-catheterization. All kinds of the nursing skills na gagawa sa post-acute rehab. Okay, ratio, patient ratio guys. Um, with Indiana, wala tayong fina-follow na ratio. But I would say the difference of the two hindi laging pareho. So, sa, may mga iilang tao na nagtatanong sa akin na, na Mama RN, um, totoo ba na sa nursing homes, ganito kadami yung pasyente na kinikater and all. So, ngayon, ang tanong guys, are you work, are you gonna work in a long-term care or in a SNF? Okay, again guys, SNF is the post-acute rehab. We don't go beyond 25 patients. 
we only cater like below 25 patients and that's it okay so different facility different uh, management majority na nakausap ko under the post-acute rehab the only cater average of 20 to 25 it can be 15 18 but maximum of 25 patients okay for that 25 patients probably you're gonna have two nurses on that census okay but if you're going to ask me how much how many or how much patient do nursing homes cater bakit may naririnig kami po na umaabot ng 60 totoo po ba na umaabot ng 60 ng 40 ang pasyente guys those are from long-term care that is nursing homes i would say if you have 40 patients under sniff just one nurse you cannot do it hindi hindi nyo makakayanan guys na na sniff is 40 and then isa ka lang na nurse sobrang hindi kasi these patients under sniff requires monitoring pa hindi pa to stable nabanggit ko naman to before na hindi pa sila mga stable patients so again the ratio average is 18 to 20 maximum probably is the 25 but sa amin kasi 22 the maximum um average of 15 to 18 okay um with the nurse with the nursing homes or the long-term care Jan po mapasok yung mga nasa 40 more than or 30 um 60 but guys i would say the 60 walang 60 na patients sa long-term care tapos mag-isa ka lang okay it's either you have your qma or the qualified um medication aids or um you have two nurses on the floor so basically it's like um 25 sa nursing homes handled but 25 per per nurses the average so ito lang ay depende sa 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 facility namin no? or sa, sa sa corporation na under umbrella ng facility namin but sa mga nakakausap ko na under um sniff and um long-term care long-term care can cater like up to 40 talaga but the most in different agencies na nakausap ko for the SNIF or skilled nursing facility ratio talaga nag average lang from 15, 18, 20 25, maximum na siguro yung 25 but average of 15 to 18 Mama Arian, manageable ba yung ganong ratio? Um, yes I would say still yes but it depends on equity Hindi kasi siya, para na siyang um, uh, med surge pa rin na in and out ang patient. Diba kasi nga, if, if nag-recover na sila, they can be discharged. And then, mag-a-admit mag na naman kayo ng new patients. So, the equity, it actually depends on how high the equity of your patients for you to say if it's manageable or not. But it's your management's um, responsibility to check the equity of your census. So if the census say um, 15 or 18 and there are like high equity, high equity meaning um, mataas yung mga needs or demands for that patient say you have like three tracheostomy, feeding, everything na, na closely monitoring, that's high equity or how needy your patients are. Jan papasok yung management nyo on how much how many nurses or how many staffing they need to put in your unit or sa floor okay but if they also um so different buildings different management too they some some of them um they review they screen uh, patients na ia admit nila if you know short staff ang building nyo for sure they will not cater as much as they can handle okay so ratio wise again kung nakarinig kayo na umaabot ng 30 40 that's because that's long term care it's not the sniff it's not the post acute rehab because for sure you cannot gonna handle or you cannot be able to handle 30 patients for a sniff or for a skilled nursing facility because 
uh, high ang equity or mas needy ang mga nasa post-acute rehab more than the long-term care. Okay, long-term care just requires like monitoring, not unless they have changes in condition, but most of them, most um, most patients in long-term care just, you know, requires med pass, um, blood sugar checking, insulin and all, not too much ng mga, mga management, okay? Not unless they get like UTIs, you know, but most of the old people goes to the nursing homes or the long-term care. But in SNF, in skilled nursing facility, dito kayo makaka encounter like ng IV fluids, ng peak line, ng central line, ng IV, ng antibiotics, um, dialysis, acute dialysis, treatments like wound treatment, surgical treatment, different kinds of wounds, um, wound vac, um, what else? Those kind, marami. In short, if you're looking for a clinical or more intensive nursing skills, I would go to the skilled nursing facility or the post-acute rehab. I'm go going to work with that kind of um, unit. But if ikaw gusto mo yung medyo laid back, hayahay, na wala masyadong ginagawa because you're not confident enough, go to the nursing homes or the long-term care. Okay, but yun nga, if you are on the medical surgical, na gusto mong probably uh, nag-stop ka into practice and then you're not yet confident again and you just want to start again ng hindi pa ganun ka, ka, ka grabe in the hospital, you can start with SNF or Skill Nursing Facility. Okay? Um... Because hospital and skilled nursing facilities are totally different in terms of ratio, in terms of their responsibilities, um, but skilled nursing facility is not a nursing homes. So, yun ang ma-share ko naman sa inyo, no? Now, you cannot call SNF a nursing home because it's not a nursing homes. Per CMS, CMS is a Center for Medicare Medicaid Programs or Services from the government and this is the bread and butter of every building or every community so if they ask if you will ask can you find the skilled nursing facility in a nursing home building yes you can they can be together in one building but different units it can be like second floor si long-term care the post-acute or the skilled nursing facility nasa first floor hindi sila pwedeng mix together but they can be under one roof or one building pero hindi siya pwedeng tawaging nursing homes okay so if you're the patient going to a sniff and then somebody will ask you, are you in the nursing home? So, so hindi, hindi pwede. Kasi you are in a skilled, you are in a skilled nursing facility to get better, to recover, so that you can go back home independently doing the same or doing your ADLs the way you used to do it prior being admitted in the hospital. So that's the difference of skilled nursing facility and nursing homes price wise or um, salary wise i would say um if mababa et, eto yung mga na share ko before no um if you would like to get like at least competitive enough na salary na medyo lapit sa hospital go to skilled nursing facility with um na medyo malaki yung may corporation na may na owned by uh, owned by corporation na meron silang different branches kanya kasi ibig sabihin they um they are like one of the top uh skilled nursing facilities or communities they call it communities um na meron silang quality seal na na inaalagaan ba so quality seal is like the j the jci of hospital na sila yung nag nag maintain of the quality ng patient care overall quality patient care ng isang building okay so salary wise competitive enough na rin ngayon ang 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 uh, ang salary ng isang sniff okay uh, magkalapit how would i know because 
I have friends na nag-hospital na or nag-stiff from hospital or hospital directly. And of course, um, open naman dito yung salary kapag nag-google ka sa mga different hospitals. So, um, sometimes may mga sniff na mas mataas pa yung offer. Um, but benefit-wise, mas okay daw ang hospital. So, ganun talaga. We cannot have it all, guys. <laughs> so, it's either you got you get your higher salary, but limited benefits, or you get the higher benefits but lower salary. So, but majority, sabi nila, um, hospital has a little not too competitive, not unless you go travelers, you go become travelers, di ba? Yung pagiging travel nurse, yun yung mas mataas talaga. But mind you guys, we have local travel nursing too. So if you don't like, like, if you don't like traveling or become traveler na na, na um, um, lumuluwas na lumuluwas na pupunta ng ibang states you can you can become a, a local travel nurse yes may mga agency na na within your state lang and you don't need to relocate sa iba but of course syempre iba-iba nga yan um, kaya may mga travel nurses na na kumikita ng mas malaki because it depends on sa ang state ka ma pupunta ma assign in what kind of area Okay. But again, that's the difference of skilled nursing facility. Baka lumayo tayo sa topic. You know? That's the difference of skilled nursing facility versus nursing homes. So you cannot call nursing homes ang isang sniff. Okay, so sniff is the bread and butter of every building na merong nursing homes and not the nursing homes. So yun lang guys. So if you have any questions, just comment down below and ta try kong sasagutin yan. And if I, if meron kayong may add to that topic, you can share that too. So yun lang guys. Thank you and don't forget to like and subscribe.